Hi, my name's Simon Hater, and today we're going to be discussing how to upgrade your Ubuntu 14.04, uh, how to install Apache 2, how to install PHP for Apache 2, uh, installing MySQL uh, along with the the PHP uh, module for Apache, uh, enabling a website with WordPress, uh, handling file permissions for Apache and uh, many more things um, like installing PHP my admin and this goes on and on but they're my focus points um, so let's jump straight in so as you can see on my screen uh, I've loaded uh, putty uh, which is a terminal you'll need to log in via your console uh, if it's a VPS you may have a, a console where you have to install open SSH server um, I've already done that so assuming you're at this stage um, let's carry on so the first thing we want to do is basically update uh, Ubuntu so let's do a sudo apt get update and what that's going to do is it's going to check all of the um, it's going to check all the, the res, uh, sources and see if there's updates for various uh, applications which is installed with your Ubuntu. Um, there shouldn't be that too many because 14.04 uh, is quite a recent build. So let's see how many we've got. So we do, uh, let's clear that. So sudo apt get and let's type upgrade. So now we should get a list of what needs to be updated. So let's say yes. So almost done. Doesn't take too long to be honest. Uh, depends on the box you're using it on. This is just um, a dual core. Um, so we've updated Ubuntu. So now what we want to do is install our Apache. So we're going to do sudo apt get install Apache to say yes to that okay um, the thing to note here is enabling site uh, zero zero default uh, which we'll use later on well we won't, we won't be changing anything in there but if you need to do uh, additional changes then you can actually I'll show you how to do HD access so we will be doing some editing in there so let's clear that screen so we've got Apache installed so now what we want to do is install PHP 5 uh, which will allow um, Apache to basically read PHP files so sudo again apt hyphen get um, install PHP 5 um, we also want PHP 5 hyphen MySQL which will basically um, let us uh, the PHP communicate with a MySQL uh, SQL database which was set up soon so I'm going to say yes to that Okay, so you can see that's restarted the Apache server, which is there, which is fantastic. We'll now see if the Apache server is running. So, uh, www.blog.co.uk, uh, do a hard refresh, it works. So, this is, uh, they've also updated their uh, splash page when uh, default index.html. Um, so, that's great. So, I know it's working. So, let's go hop back straight into Putty. Let's do a clear. We don't need to see all that. So now what we want to do is in, uh, install uh, MySQL so we can use WordPress in a data uh, with a database. So sudo again, apt get install php uh, mysql server. So we're installing MySQL server. So 92 megabytes. Say yes. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Okay, so new password for 
MySQL, so set a password. Okay, fantastic, it's done. So let's clear screen again. Let's now what we want to do is install uh, PHP, uh, PHP my admin um, so we can easily add databases and users. So same again, sudo apt hyphen get install PHP my admin. Say yes to that. We're using Apache, so push the spacebar, OK it. Now it should uh, throw up uh, a username and password. Yep, we're going to say yes to that. We're going to set a password. I'm just going to use the same password we used earlier on all three fields. And basically that's installed. So um, check for any error messages, but there is none. So clear that. Now let's go back to our website. Let's now do a forward stroke so the domain name or IP address and we're going to type uh, PHP my admin fantastic it's loaded so um, that's great I'm going to go back we'll go in there later um, let's go hop back into putty so now what we want to do is um, enable uh, mod rewrite within uh, Apache so what we could do is sudo actually I'm not going to do that we need to go into uh, etc go into Apache 2 ls it go into sites available ls it let's do uh, I use Pico but you can use Nano or VI or whatever's your cup of tea so I'm just going to basically, um, we're not going to have a server name. Uh, nope, it's not that. They've changed it. I'm going to change the global. Don't, should have done that. Yep, so I'm going to edit the global one. So apache2.config. And hopefully it's it's in the global. Okay, so here's our global. We want to enable uh, this. So it says allow override. We want to take away none, and we want to put all capital A. Uh, also, we go down to www and add it in there. So that has the rights and basically um, control. X save yes. So now what we want to do is reload the server. So sudo service Apache 2 uh, reload. Now what we need to do is en enable uh, the mod rewrite. So uh, the rewrites work within the dot uh, ht access. So I'm going to enable that now. So we're going to do sudo a to en mod rewrite okay fantastic it's saying I need to restart um, so let's restart it now so we can go in order service Apache to restart now I'll probably throw up an error saying about qualif uh, not qualified as a full domain this is quite standard um, I'm really not sure why they haven't removed it in um, it's been years you don't actually need to set that field however if you do set a server name then it will get rid of that message but it's not anything to worry about our server still gonna work fine without uh, suppressing that message so basically the changes are uh, within this version of uh, Ubuntu is it makes a HTML folder which is there so if I go into the HTML I can see uh, there's an index uh, dot HTML. So the first thing we want to do really is we want to move uh, 
remove this, well not remove it, rename it and I'll show you why. So we're going to do sudo mv html and we're going to put old. So do ls, I can see olds on there. So um, what we want to do now is download WordPress. So I'm going to hop over to, uh, I'm going to download the UK version but feel free to download any version you want. So I'm going to right click copy link location Go hop back into um, Putty. I'm going to do wget sudo wget. Right click for paste. It's taking its time. Very slow for some reason. Well, this is not good, so I'm going to actually find maybe a try the United States version. That's just ridiculous. Going to cancel that. I'm actually connected via VPN, so I'm actually going to disconnect from it and see if that has any impact. So a bit faster, I've actually got um, a 76 uh, megabit line, so I'm not quite sure why it's so slow. Okay, fantastic. So that's downloaded. It's actually downloaded it as um, dot one, but not a problem. we we'll remove this one. Rename this one. So LS it, great, fantastic. So let's uh, unzip that now. So we do sudo tar xvf WordPress hyphen 3.9 hyphen en underscore gb capitals tar dot gz. So what that's done is made me uh, a folder so what we want to do now is we want to rename that folder so we don't have to edit the config so we'll do sudo mv wordpress and we're going to name it html so fantastic so if we hop over to um, this and do a refresh I've got a feeling it's not going to work because it's done as root oh but it has but I know later on um, it's going to throw up an error saying it can't write to the uh, the configuration uh, file and the reason being is we haven't set up the user permissions so let's go and do that now so we can get rid of these future messages so what we want to do is we want to tell that folder uh, it belongs to the WW data group so really straightforward we're going to do sudo crown and we're going to do www data hyphen www hyphen data and it's var www html and we're going to do uh, r for recursive so go back in there sorry so now what we want to do is we want to be able to upload to that folder using SFTP uh, over SSH or uh, if we installed Pro FTP or Viz uh, FTP we want to be able to edit those files so what we'll do is I'll show you how to quickly add um, a user, uh, your user to the same uh, group what Apache uses so you don't it doesn't come up with uh, problems with the permissions so what we're going to do is we're going to first change um, first change the change mod to 775 now there are a lot um, uh, secure settings you can use um, like a, a, a like a 644 if you do, if you want to like lock it down but in this case I'm just going to use 775 um, www that and it's recursive so I can that's 
it's recursive so it should do the other folder now what I want to do is I want to add my username so what we've done there is we've told the folder that www.data uh, belongs to that folder but 775 represents uh, people outside the group can read that folder people within inside the group can edit the folder and the owner can read and edit the folder as well so uh, guests will only be able to read the contents you can actually uh, play around to the settings uh, to prevent guests um, reading uh, that data and especially if you've uh, got other people in your box using a VPS you want to clamp that down using uh, CH mod so but now what we want to do is add our username to the user group Apache uh, which is ww hyphen data so we're going to do sudo we're going to do user mod hyphen a hyphen capital G ww data Simon. Now, if I type in uh, ID Simon, I should see that I'm added under the WW Data Group, which I am, which is number 33. So you can see that um, I've been added to that. I'm just going to do groups, and you can see that I'm in group Simon as well. Uh, so I'm going to clear that. So that is sorted out our permissions problems. We won't get any problems when we log in via uh, SFTP or FTP uh, because we've added, um, we have been added to the permission list uh, groups, so to speak. So now what we want to do is install WordPress. So the first thing we need to do uh, to, satisf uh, to satisfy WordPress is we need to set up a database. So um, I'm going to go forward straight PHP my admin. I'm going to log in. Root is the username and whatever password you set up. Now what I want to do here is um, add a user and add a database. So the easiest way to do this is by clicking users. We go add user, so I'm going to make up a username. Ideally, you shouldn't have admin or WordPress or anything. It should be quite the username is an important field, and a lot of people uh, forget um, and think the most important thing is the password. But the having a complex um, username can actually um, add an extra blanket of security. So I'm going to name it that. So what I'm going to do is open another another tab. Go to blog.co.uk. I'm going to type this in as I go. So username there. Uh, we want to change the host to local host. That's uh, an extra layer of security, meaning that only the local host can connect to uh, the database. We want to generate a password because generally um, these are quite complex. However, it doesn't use symbols, so I'm going to edit a few uh, letters there and add a few symbols. And I'm going to paste that in. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, WordPress. Database is going to be the same as my username. So what I'm going to do is, um, there's a little checkbox here, create database with same name and grant all privileges. Now you can go in and edit the privileges afterwards, um, but for this uh, I'm going to grant it all uh, privileges. That's what most people use to be honest, but if you are a paranoid fruitcake, then by all means um, you can clamp down and remove some of the permissions like super and whatnot. But anyway, uh, create database with same user, uh, username and grant all permissions and we're going to click go so what we've done is we've created a user and we've created a database so we'll go back to um, our WordPress um, and we're gonna ch I'm going to change the prefix because again uh, bots which hack accounts uh, on WordPress um, a lot of the amateur bots will uh, don't act, you will use the default prefix, but it, it's debatable. But let's put 
L01. So submit that. So run the install. So now we're going to name our site. We're going to name it blog. Let's call it bloggy. No, blog UK. So uh, never use a, a tip is never a name a username admin for WordPress because a lot of brute force passwords crackers uh, they will run admin first because a lot of people use it. So I'm going to uh, use the semi uh, complex one. I'm going to copy and paste that and I'm going to use a weak password but you should uh, make a strong password but I want to be able to remember it put my email address in now this box if you are developing a website um, you basically uh, uncheck that and that will basically tell uh, Google and Bing uh, the bots will use a no index within the HTML which tells it uh, hang on a minute you're not to index this content so that's great so let's install it so let's log in and as you can see I've got a working version of WordPress installed and I believe that completes our tutorial and I hope that's helped. Thanks very much. Bye bye.